Before this video starts, I want to quickly mention that this video is brought to you by Wondershare PDF Element. The easiest way to convert, edit and annotate PDF files at your fingertips. You can easily create and distribute forms, combine collected forms for analysis and export collected data in a spreadsheet. Express yourself both verbally and visually with a full featured word processor that helps you easily edit PDF files. You can manually adjust and create these in nine different languages. Whether you need to make presentations, invoices, everything is ready at your fingertips. Make sure to grab PDF element with 60% off through the first link down in the description. So let's move on with the video. What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new Vegas Pro 18 tutorial. Now, of course, this is kind of a different angle because I usually sit behind my computer, of course. In this video, I'm gonna dedicate this entire tutorial about the black bar fill plugin slash feature that Vegas Pro introduced into Vegas Pro 18. So what this basically means is that when you are shooting videos that you have like this on your phone, on Instagram or Snapchat, anything like that, of course, if you're gonna upload these onto YouTube, it can have like black bars as you guys are seeing right now now because I'm recording this on my phone. So what Vegas did is they implemented a feature, right? They will actually fill up those black bars and you can still manage to get like a 16 by nine resolution filled with, of course, footage. So you don't have to have like black bars all around it. This is basically what it looks like if you apply this feature on it. It's really cool. I'm really excited to show you guys this feature. So if you guys are excited, make sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're here the first time watching. And I would say, let's get started right after the intro. All right, guys. So as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 18, and this is the video that I shot with the intro of my iPhone. So in order to fix this is, of course, in previous versions when we didn't have this feature, we would actually like duplicate this track, and then we would like make that track a lot bigger, and then just put on, on like a Gaussian blur on it. But it's just actually a really, really simple trick that you can now just use this awesome black bar filler feature. So what we would need to do is, if you have your clip in there, we were gonna go to the video effects tab, and we're going to go and look for the black bar fill, which is right here in the list. So now we right here, we have a ton of options. So let's go through them and let's see what they do. So if I drag on this guy, it is basically going to standardly make the video a lot bigger in the background when it's playing. So you don't have to like synchronize stuff up. It's all going to be like in the same, as you can see right now, resolution and everything is synced up, even the background as like the front video. We also have like a really, really slight shadow on the edge. That's like a really, really nice detail what magics uh, pay attention to. So if you go scroll through the presets, if I go a couple down, you can also have this one a little bit smaller in the screen instead of full screen. But we can also place these ones to the left of the screen, to the right of the screen. We can also have them in the middle without any shadow on the edges. We can have them with shadow, which actually looks really cool because it actually kind of make it look like it's loose from the background. So if I go back to this one, as you can see, we also have a uh, preset where we have a non-blurred background. And we also have one with like a really, really, really heavy heavily blurred background and also a really zoomed one. Pretty straightforward guys, you don't have to go ahead and, because I'm gonna show you guys what difference it makes. So we can just drag this on, just like that, boom, and it's fixed. You can start editing. Like a couple versions ago, we would actually like duplicate this entire track. Then we would make the bottom track like a lot, a lot bigger as you can see like that. And then we had to go to the video effects tab and like throw on uh, like a Gaussian blur. Let's see where it is, uh, right here. It says Gaussian blur. If you drag on a medium blur on the bottom one, but there we go. You know, this is kind of the effect that you can recreate. It just, it saves one video track and a lot of time as well, because right now you can just delete the bottom track. You can just drag on the black bar fill preset onto the video and it's good to go. And now your black bars are gone. Even if you filmed your video, for example, like in a vertical mode and you have like black bars all around it and you still want to render it out as a 1920 by 1080 or a 16 by 9 rather resolution right now this is a really cool way so you can actually fill that up and that's how i did the intro it's a really short and really simple video but th there's nothing more to it it's like a, one of these features that doesn't need like a lot of effort into it so this is basically how you fill it in and it's really really cool all right guys so that's it for this video that is how you fill up the background with your video that you have playing in the front using this really simple feature so if you enjoyed this video make sure to reward it with a like down below i want to thank you guys for watching thank you so much for the continued support throughout the years and i'll see you guys obviously in tomorrow's video